goes out, but that's the beautiful life that we live. So um, welcome everyone to our amazing call. Um, I'm here today. I am Angela Maresca. I'm here with Jessica Rayner and Lisa DeMeo. Lisa is on a UK call right now, and she'll be joining us in about five minutes. Um, but these ladies are fantastic. I mean, we guys talk all the time, and they're so unbelievably selfless. I mean, Jessica right now is sitting in Panera, <laughs> left, left the kids at home for a little while just so she can be here um, uninterrupted and really give her heart to you guys. And every time I talk with Jessica or Lisa, the sentiment is always the same. What can we do? What can we offer? How can we help them get to where they want to be? So uh, I'm going to start today by asking Jessica to share her 30-second story. I'll share mine. Lisa will share hers. And then we really wanted to um, assist you guys in handling common, common objections that we have, right? Because I feel that the more prepared you are, the better you are able to really assist not, not just yourself in dealing with these common objections, but really help your team, prepare your team, right? There's nothing like being prepared. And I feel that when you are fully prepared and able to answer with a cool heart and a cool head, you're not going to be worried. You're not going to be scared and you're not going to be afraid of talking to people. And that's our job, talking to people every day. And objections are part of the business and following up as part of the business so um, let's let's start with your amazing story Jess because I just love you so much every time I hear your story I'm just a, a snotty mess because it's so unbelievably relatable to so many women so would you be okay with sharing of course absolutely can you hear me okay Perfect. Okay, wonderful. So, I'm, you know, obviously, we all have a lots of different stories. And so the story that's most appropriate is just based on who you're talking to. So if I were talking to someone on this call, you know, that had a, a job that, like, I had had, and I would say, Angela, before Isogenics, I was a run-down, exhausted corporate mom who was on a plane or a train more than I saw my kids. I was on a hamster wheel that I never could see a way out of. And a friend introduced me to Isogenics and showed me a path to, have a, to create a virtual franchise that allowed us to create income while we sleep and allowed us to help our friends and family do the exact same thing. And as a result, we created an unbelievable team. We've set many people free. Many families have been able to create an financial breathing room in their life. And as a result of Isogenics changing my family's financial blueprint, it's allowed us to serve in a totally different way. It took a mom who had a live-in nanny for six years and allowed me to be home with my own kids and become part of the foster care system. And I'm on my sixth placement of being able to give love and a family to kids who so desperately need it. And we're on a mission, Angela. We're on a mission to give tired moms back their sexy and their fabulous while giving them an, a vehicle to change their family's financial stability. And that's my, that's my story. I love it. And you know what? It's, it's heartwarming. It's simple, but it's to the point. And everyone's story is different. And based on who you're talking to, the story can change, you know, and the longer you're in this business, the story constantly evolves. So for me, I'm someone who's tried so many different programs, you know, <laughs> and failed. Uh, I've done Jenny Craig. I've done Weight Watchers. So when my friend Jennifer posted on Facebook that she lost nine pounds using a nutritional cleanse, I was so ready to try it because I was desperately looking for a solution. With much, uh, <laughs> with much kicking and screaming from my husband, he had very little faith. He said, go ahead, order it. I'll save the receipt so you can return the box in 30 days. Um, I was really determined and I honestly prayed that this would work for me. Uh, I was shocked by my results. I couldn't believe that I had lost 28 pounds. I felt more energized. I felt better than before. And as a result, um, because I was formerly a social worker, I found joy and, and pleasure in really helping others get healthy. 
start feeling better. So now I'm just a no network marketing experience, someone who's passionate about the products, who is just excited about helping other moms, dads, families, just create a little bit of health and financial freedom in their life. You know, so how to share your 30 second story. Before the program, you talk about how you felt. Jess was burnt out. She was traveling so much. Money wasn't an issue. I mean, she told the story when she walked out of her bedroom and saw her daughter with her jeans two inches above her ankles. She got very choked up and she said, where the hell has the time gone? I have missed so much of this kid's life, right? So we want to listen for cues. We want to figure out what is at the heart of someone's problem what what are they looking for because that's what we're here to offer through our own story we're here to offer a solution so i see lisa on welcome lisa. welcome to the call hey thank you so much awesome jess thank you for sharing angela your story always touches me and everybody else it's amazing yeah, so would you share your story? Because here we have a, a network marketing total newbie. Here we have a corporate mom who's very successful. Tell me a little bit about your background. What's your 30-second story? So my, by trade, I'm a life and leadership coach. Um, that's where I spent all my time is training people how to build teams and build networks. I was trading time for money. So I looked at the vehicle called network marketing. I jumped in with both feet. And in five months, I was at the top of that company, bringing people up the ladder very, very quickly because I'm a coach. I'm a trainer. That's what I do. And three years in, I realized right industry, wrong company. And the choice was to stay there and be comfortable or to walk away and leave everything on the table and start again, which is what I chose to do. And the reason I chose to do it, um, it was a very hard time. Uh, my coaching partner was dying of pancreatic cancer and I kept going to see her in the hospital and I was the only one that would visit her because everybody else had a day job. And I remember looking out the window in the, in the vestibule of the hospital, Christmas week in Manhattan, and seeing all these people all over the, the streets in Manhattan and thinking how many people are dying alone because somebody has to go to work and they can't get on a flight or they can't be there. And I just felt this small and so stingy that I had made it in this other company that I didn't want to sponsor people anymore. And I knew I needed to find a company that I could believe in. And I could say, just like I'm saying to all of you, you can have exactly what I have, and you can choose to live your life how you want to live your life. And that, that was really the push that I needed to start looking for another company, which of course is now Isagenics, and start all over again at a time in my life where I was going through divorce. I had no other money other than that, that network marketing money, and lost my mentor, my partner, my everything, my vault. And um, during that year, the, the hardest year in my life, the, by far the hardest year in my life, built back the income I was making within six months in isogenics. Amazing, amazing. So, I mean, for the people that are on this call, it is no surprise that Jessica Rayner is one of the fastest growing millionaires. Uh, no surprise that Lisa DeMeo was not only at the top of her previous company, but is a 13 star platinum here in Isagenics in just a few short years. These ladies are at the top of their game. If anyone has seen it, been there, done that, it's these two beautiful souls. So I'm going to start with you, Lisa. Tell me, I want to talk about common objections because we all face the same thing. And, you know, if we can prepare our team to deal with these objections, if we can give them the tools to go out there with confidence, I feel that everyone will be better prepared, not just for themselves, but to team build, because this is, I mean, it's a, it's a part of the business. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to people that, that say to you, you know what, you're good at this, you're a life coach, you know how to team build. I'm not, I'm not a salesperson. I don't know how to do this. I can't do what you do. What do you say to people like that? 
I always ask, so I'm a coach. I always ask a question with a question. ABC, always be curious. So when somebody says, I can't do what you do, I say, what do you think I do? Now pay attention, you guys, because we can give you all the verbiage or I can teach you how to always know how to do this. And that's what I want to do. I want to teach you. If you're always curious, you're going to help people uncover their own limiting beliefs. Now, I don't want to talk too much in coaching language that you may not be familiar with, but here's how it goes all the time. People have well-rehearsed answers as a result of collecting stuff they hear along the way. And it sounds something like this. I have no time for that. I know somebody who did it. It doesn't work. I need to eat food. I can't drink shakes. I don't have the money to do it. I, right? It's fast. It comes really fast. It comes flying out of their mouth. I don't think that you would talk to somebody and they would sit and say, let me really process this. No, I don't have enough money. It's that fast, immediate reaction. So what we want to do is peel back the onion. We want to peel back the layers. What happens, Angela, when you peel an onion, you're cooking, what happens to your eyes when you peel an onion? Start clearing. Right. You start, it's almost like you're crying. Your, your body's purging. When you start peeling stuff back, people become very emotional. And what you're doing immediately, guys, is getting to somebody's why. The why is the, is the reason why we are successful. For the people who are making six figures a month or six figures a year in isogenics, we have a very strong connection to our why, and it changes all the time. So what I would say to somebody, if they say, I can't do what you do, I would ask a question. What do you think I do? Well, you speak in front of you know, thousands of people. Do you think you need to do that? What I keep doing is I'm getting them clear in their own head because that's not what they're saying no to. What they're probably saying deep down is, I'm really nervous. That sounds scary. They don't even know that that voice is way back in their head. But I'm trying to get that real objection, not the first one, two, three, four, five objections. I'm trying to get the real one out of them through questioning. What do you think I do? Do you think you need to do that? What if I told you that's not what you do at all? I just keep asking questions. And then finally, they're gonna, it's going to change. And you'll see it'll change. It'll be something else. Well, I know somebody who tried that and it doesn't work. After about five objections, I will say to somebody just like this, what is it really? What is it really? And now here's where your own confidence, you have to be so grounded in who you are. And it doesn't matter if you, it doesn't matter if you don't have any evidence that this works. It doesn't matter if you don't have any money. It doesn't matter if you don't have the right body. You have to be grounded in who you are as a person. So you could say to somebody, I'm a diehard. I'm committed. I don't have, you know, I'm so insecure here with this body, and I don't feel comfortable talking to you about it. But when I see people on stage, Jessica, I think about you there. I can see you there. And I almost let my own insecurities get in the way of this conversation. But you need to see this for yourself. I'm committed. I will do this alongside you. I don't know where the answers are, but I know where to find them and I will find them. You have somebody who will stop at nothing to support you. They need to know that you are so confident that you can carry them through their issues. But if you sound like this, I know, I, I know it's a lot of money, but you don't, you know, you don't have to buy the, you don't have to get the value pack. You could just get like a, you know, you, we could just get a couple of products or they're already done because they're insecure and then you're not showing up as powerful. So it doesn't matter because you don't need any evidence. When I started and when people say she came over with a team, if you want to annoy me, say that to me. She came over with a team. Because that one day, there was a one time in my life, I was a team of one with nothing but a vision and a used bag of skincare that somebody lent me. And I started an entire company. I was a team of one with a vision. You could not get in my head and live there rent-free. 
because every person that said no was not offering me another option. So ask good questions. Help people uncover what it is and why they're really saying it. That's what I do, Ann. I love it. And what I feel uh, when you talk is a lot of conviction, right? I don't have to have all the answers, but you know what? I'm going to do my best to get it for you. And what I love about that is that we don't have to be experts. You don't have to be a doctor or a scientist, but I love what she said. Look, I don't have the perfect body. I'm not at my goals yet, but I would kick myself in the rear end if I didn't tell you about this opportunity. You know, honesty, integrity, passion, conviction, all that stuff, folks, it's for free. You know, these are not things that you have to learn in school. I love that. Thank you so much, Lisa. So I want to ask Jessica because Jessica came from a corporate world. I feel like she has a lot of friends. She lives in this amazing town, you know, with so many people. What would you say to someone, Jess, that says, I don't know anybody. I literally only know like my ex-husband and he's just a pain in the rear end. And I don't really, I don't have too many friends. I'm a stay at home mom. I'm, I'm busy with the kids. I, I, wouldn't even know where to um, meet people. How do you respond to that, Jess? Can you unmute me? Yes, there oh, you are. Awesome. Okay, very good. Okay, so I will tell you this. And when, if, people, if people say that to me, I ask them, then you must be in the witness protection program. Because unless you are locked up in an ivory tower, we all have at least, hear this, at least seven circles of influence. Whether you're willing to tap into them is a totally different thing. But think about your life. You're assuming that you have not been trapped. You've not been Rapunzel. Assuming that, then you know people from, that you grew up with, that you went to elementary school with. Maybe you played a sport with them or a Girl Scout or band. You know people that you maybe went to high school with them. Maybe you went to some kind of secondary schooling. Maybe someone cut your hair. I mean, I guess if people, when people say that to me, I'm just envisioning this person locked up in a cell with a flow bee, cutting their own hair, talking to themselves, because honestly, we're such social connected beings. If people allow themselves to think about who they know, it's amazing. So if you think about, I love people to get out your wedding invitation list. If you don't know anyone, did you get married? Did you have people? Did you have, if you had a birthday party, who would you invite? You know, if, God forbid, if something ever happened to you, who would visit you in the hospital or send a card? Those are the people that care enough about you to visit you in the hospital. You better care enough about them to change their life. Yeah, absolutely. Would so, you so real quick, let me just also say, just I like I hate when we say like, yeah, you know people, and then we don't give mechanical tips. So I'm going to give you a couple mechanical tips. So here's what I tell my team to do. Get your Facebook friends list and print it out. And the way that you do that, there's a technical way to do it, but I'm not technical, so I'm going to tell you I'm going to go common denominator for everyone. Go to your friends, scroll down all the way until you get to the bottom, and then click print. And it's going to be an ugly print job, but it's going to be great. Thank you, Angela. It's going to be awesome because you can write notes on it. And so here's what I told my team, and I'll tell you a quick story. I told my team, give yourself permission to do this to the top. I want you to go and I want you to send a message to every person on your Facebook list. And the only way, listen to this guys, the only disqualifier is if they're already using isogenics currently. That's the only disqualifier. Not that you're too scared, not that they were like your ex-boyfriend or the, like the cool kid or too rich or too skinny. None of those are disqualifying the people if you're serious about this. And so I'm just going to tell you a quick anecdote about when you get serious about your business, what changes. So I told my team to do that. And then in printing out my own Facebook friends list, I came across a guy that I went to college with, the best looking guy in my college, the coolest guy at my college who married an equally cool, beautiful, fabulous woman. They have this gorgeous life in New York City. And I was like, oh my gosh, I told my team that they have to do it. And so, you know what? I just held my breath and I wrote a message and I said, Andy, I don't know if you've seen my, what I've been posting about on Facebook, but I'm looking for two different things and I'm hoping you might be able to connect me with someone who, for one or both of them. The first thing is I'm looking for people who want to take massive action in upgrading their health, energy, sleep, weight loss, mood, and muscle. 
The second thing is I have a hold of an unbelievable virtual franchise opportunity with these incredible cutting edge science nutrition. And I'm wondering if you know anyone who might be open to creating some additional side income. And I held my breath, guys, and I pushed send on that message. I'm looking for two referrals from the cutest, coolest guy in my college. And I'm thinking he is probably, a day goes by, nothing. I'm looking at my inbox, like, did he read it? He read it. I'm so embarrassed. Everyone in my college is probably in our newsletter that I'm such a loser, right? And so here's what happens, guys. 48 hours later, ding in my inbox. It's a message from him. It says, Jessica, it is so serendipitous that you wrote this. My wife is on maternity leave with our second child, and she literally yesterday was crying to me about how she wants to find a way to do something that would let her be home. She's in banking. By the way, I work for Citibank. She's in banking, and she's so anxiety-ridden about having to go back to this job and missing everything with the kids. And guys, that came about because... I got out of my own head and stopped making it about me. And wow, here's this mom that's crying. And even though it was this gorgeous guy in high school, people are looking for what we do, whether they're cool or skinny or rich or broke or fun or depressed, they're looking for what we have. So that's what I'll tell you. Print out your Facebook friends list. Grab your wedding invitation list. Look through the people and really use the memory jogger. I think Isogenics is awesome, but Eric Worre's memory jogger is <laughs> very good also. Love it. Love it. How many of us, by a show of honest hands, are guilty of prejudging someone? She's too skinny. She's too rich. She doesn't need this. She's not ready. Um, all of us are guilty of prejudging someone, and it's such a terrible thing because if somebody – would have overlooked me. Can you imagine if somebody would have overlooked Lisa or Jessica and said, ah, she's successful. She doesn't need this. I never approached my friend Jenny because she was a Dartmouth graduate. She was a hundred pounds soaking wet. She had her own legal practice. And I absolutely thought she had her life under control. And I just was embarrassed. Who am I to talk to her about health and wellness? And so she messaged me and she used the B word and she said, you B, what are you doing and why haven't you messaged me about it? And I felt very uh, embarrassed. I felt, uh, you know, ashamed of myself. Well, lo and behold, she's divorced. Um, she studied at Integrative Institute of Nutrition, loves health, loves wellness, and is desperately looking for more energy right? So you don't know what's going on in someone's backyard. You don't know what's going on in someone's home. You don't know what they need. And everyone needs something, right? Life is not peachy. Life is not always perfect. So we're trying to give back. We're trying to help people. And what I can tell you is that you cannot say the wrong thing to the right person, right? But if you wait around, if you don't share the story, if you don't have the conversation, somebody else with a lot more guts like Lisa or Jessica will, will, you know, Lisa had a great, a great, I, I don't even, I can't even paraphrase how, because it was so powerful, but if not you, then who? If not now, then when? You know, think about it. Every day is slipping by. So, Jessica talked about a great system on, on Facebook, and I do the same thing. I literally go into Facebook groups of interest to me. I make friends. I started Facebook with 300 people. I have over 3,000 now. It's, it's a work in progress, right? It takes time. Every day we should be making more Facebook connections, friend requesting people, genuinely connecting. And what I do is I file this into three separate files. So the first one is leads. The second one is everyone that I've spoken to. And the third one is everyone that I've enrolled. And guys, it's not that big of a deal. Send them a message. I'm looking for someone. I'm asking for a referral. Would you happen to know anyone who's interested in health and wellness? It's that simple, but we've got to do the do. We've got to share the story. If we're not sharing the story, our business isn't growing. No matter how many books, 
how many podcasts? So I want to ask Lisa, because I know she gets this all the time, and Lisa really leads with the value pack. So I have a twofold question for you. How do you present the value pack? I know people love the verbiage, and guys, if you don't have time to write everything down, it's okay. The call is recorded. Um, how do you present the value pack, and how do you handle the monetary objection? Great question, uh, Angela. You know, you guys, everything is a tool in Isogenics. If you go to isogenicsbusiness.com and in the search bar you put Lisa DeMeo um, value pack or you go to my YouTube channel, I did a piece on this on Kathy Coover's panel and you can watch the video. It's eight minutes. So, um, and that's always the question because I've always led with the value pack. So what I say to people is, if you're in the circumstance you're in, the only way that you're going to change it is by having something be different. Wouldn't you agree with me? So if we were to invest in Jessica, you know, I always call this a virtual franchise. And when I heard you say it, I'm like, ah, that's what I used to say like a hundred years ago. This is a virtual franchise. If we were going to own a franchise and buy a McDonald's, how much money do you think we'd all have to invest to do that? This gives us an opportunity to start a business. And the only way that I can help you out of your current situation, which seems dire at this point, I mean, you're struggling to, to get money for this one path or your health, whatever it is, right? One way or the other, we pay a price for health. The only way that I know I'm going to do the best job possible is by having you rise above your circumstance, because I can't change your circumstance yet, I can only change your reaction to it, is having you rise above it, do something you wouldn't do, change that for you, get you a path that's been proven to increase retention rate by 87%, and have you start with this, the same way I did and the people I've, I've helped to become successful start. So in this value pack, you get a $75 voucher on future trainings. You get a free app membership. You get a free ISA blender. You get about $104 worth of free product. In the next 30 days, your auto ship is going to be a lot less because you're getting about 88 meals delivered to your doorstep. So dollar for dollar, you're spending less than $4 a meal. In the long run, you're going to spend more time circle, circling around the perimeter of the supermarket than actually in the middle of the aisles, getting food that are loaded with preservatives and boxed and, you know, all kinds of stuff that are just unhealthy. So this is the most cost-effective way for you to get superfood nutrition in your body. You're getting money back. You have a higher chance of retention. You have a better chance of duplicating something you start with. Whatever you guys start with, that is what will get duplicated in your organization. And in the long run, you will make money faster and you will help people succeed right out of the gate. Because there are going to be moments where you're really hungry and instead of being able to slice up a bar or just have another shot of Ionics, you're going to run out of stuff. And it's going to cause you to go buy more, order again, or eat something else. And then you're going to come back to me and you're going to say, this didn't really work. So I'm giving you an opportunity to set yourself up for success right from the beginning. I can show you with two accountability partners, grabbing two people to start with you right now so you, you can increase your chance of being successful on the product how half of your product will be paid for, and by helping those two find two people, by the time your credit card cut statement comes in, you will be in the black. And that's the only way you're gonna get ahead of your financial situation. And trust me, I know, because before I made seven figures, I would point to other people that did, and say, all the people in Isogenics that make seven figures and above lead with this path. Yeah. Absolutely. If you guys can um, memorize that four minute script, how, how many of you think that <laughs> the amount of value packs would increase? I mean, I'm, I'm going to watch that recording over and over and over. And even if you try to take away four points, 
from what Lisa said and just put it into your repertoire. I, I mean, I really believe that the amount of value packs would increase and the statistics are crazy, right? I mean, the, the people who begin with the value pack stay on much longer. They don't fall off. So not only are they getting a better experience, but your, your store, your customer base is increasing because your retention improves. So how do you answer people when they say, I can't afford it? I, I once heard Kathy Savage say, my first ISA University, she said $11 a day or $18 a day. Duh. And you know, in her, <laughs> in her funny, sarcastic mama savage tone, but it made perfect sense to me. Sometimes if you're able to help them break down the value and how much they're spending a day, it will help people see. And guys, money is the most common objection. Don't be afraid of it. Learn how to handle it. So what do you say, Lisa, when someone says it's just, it's too much money, I can't afford it? I say, how, how many times do you find yourself saying that over and over again? We can't afford it. That's too much. And I know where you can be with this. I really don't back down with it. I mean, I, I wish Shifra was on this call. Um, I have a woman who, who signed on with the value pack who had to determine if she was going to pay her rent and her electricity or buy a value pack. And, you know, now just moved to Naples, Florida and makes thousands of dollars a month. And you know how it goes. So I really don't back down. Um, have I ever sold a 30 day? Yes. I've never, ever, ever sold a nine day. Um, somebody went online once and ordered one because I don't want to, I don't want people to fail. That's really hard. You have four cleanse days in, in 11 days. So I really work to get them to see the way they see their, their financial situation and talk about different ways that we could make it happen. And like, who do you know? And I always say, let me hold your hands and walk you through this. Let me help you figure out a way in which you can have it paid for. Who are two people that you know personally that would invest in their health without any, we, like, if you called me, I would do it. Who are two people like that? And if they really can, and it's a super stretch, I will say to them, okay, we'll start with a 30 day. And here's the commitment I want from you. The second you find two people and we're going to talk about the value pack and you make that money back, I want you to invest in more product. Because, you know, does anyone use skincare? Okay, if you're over 30, do you just wash your face and you're done? People put so much on their skin. They wash their face. They use serum. They use eye cream. They use a night cream. They use an SPF day cream. But then when it comes to internal cleansing, in, in a world where two out of three of us are going to get cancer of some form at some point in our life, and that's the American Cancer Society statistic, certainly not mine, we're okay with purging toxins out of our body but not replenishing. Or we're okay with putting incredible superfood, undenatured, cold-pressed whey protein in a toxic, unalkalized body. So we work to, to alkaline the body. When someone tells me, you know, I, the, taste does, the ionics taste weird, or I don't like the shakes, or they made me nauseous, I know they're highly acidic. And what I will say to them is go buy a little pH test in the drugstore and tell me what you're, how alkaline you are. Because chances are you're so acidic. If you're starting with a 30-day, I really can't give you the proper coaching that I can with a value pack where you have all your stuff in there. So if they really, really, truly can't, I don't, I don't believe that anybody can't figure it out. I believe that I don't create a great enough vision for somebody to want to figure it out. And you guys, we have, this is our job here. You have to learn to see people at their highest possibility. You know, I see some of my best friends are on this call. I, I'm looking at Monica. She's right in front of me. And she'll tell you, I'll make her cry with some of the stuff I say. Because I don't ever see her here where she may see herself. I see her up here. And I'll call her out and say, like, why didn't you do that? And you can do this. And we need to, you, because you want to bring people higher. And if you sit with somebody and you say, I don't want this to be your conversation anymore. 
I don't ever want you to say, you can't afford it anymore. Let me help you this one time get out of this conversation. Do something you may have never done before. Because guess what? Doing the same thing over and over and over again is the definition of insanity. You're in this, everybody who signs up is over 18. If somebody is that broke, that broke, we have to, we have to paint that vision for them. Because what's ever going to be different in their life? Yeah. And the second you drop it down, this is how I feel. If I immediately say to you, Angela, okay, no worries, no worries. We'll get a nine day or a 30 day system. I don't see her as amazing and the potential. I'm immediately dropping myself down to her. My goal is to bring people up to my mindset. That's your job, guys, and to really work with people where they see the value of that. How many of you started with a value pack and you're crushing it in your first month? Your, 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 your goals or you're hitting your weight loss goals or your weight gain goals or whatever your goal is. Yeah. So I really, really, really work hard to get people to understand the value of the value pack and to understand that the retention rate is well over 85 or 87% when people start with a, with a value pack. Yeah, I, I, people are saying, I wish I had started with that one. And I have to be honest with you guys. And I hope that if somebody asks you about the 90 day, about the nine day, if you don't have a story, please use mine. I was only presented with the nine day program. I spent $220 on a nine day program. Uh, I lost seven pounds. And then I said, good Lord, I need more of this stuff. I had to pay an additional $50 for overnight shipping to get a 30 day program because it does work because the company does offer a money back guarantee. So I wound up spending $630 on a nine day and a 30 day. And that's why I tell people not to get the nine day because it is no value in that. You're not gonna get lasting results. It takes at least 30 days to really change habits, at least 30 days. Um, most of us are so deficient that the vitamins and minerals really do help. And just in the retention rate alone, I mean, you don't have to be scared, but at least you have to give people options. When you start from the packs and work your way down, when you start from the business builders pack to the value pack to the basic 30 day, people are going to land somewhere in the middle with the value pack. But if you're only presenting them with one choice or just saying it's either this or this, guess where they're going to land? At the least expensive one. So try to present all of the information. You don't have to be great to start. You just have to get into the habit of doing it. So don't sell yourself short and you know, don't prejudge them. They can't afford it. Let, let them decide what they can and cannot afford. Just Practice the verbiage. You'll get better. Watch Lisa's YouTube video. It's fantastic. Um, so I want to ask Jessica another very common objection that we all get, and how many of you guys have heard this one? I don't have time. I don't have time to do what you do. And I think this question is so perfect for Jess because she has kids. She's a foster mom. She was so busy. I mean just working this in the pockets of her spare time. So just how do you help people um, prioritize the time, eliminate distractions, and really get on a good schedule? Because I see too many people, they have an hour of spare time to work this business, and they spend that time either organizing their desk or fooling around on Facebook. How do we prioritize our time, and how do we handle the time objection? So two things. One is we need to understand their, their goals. Why would they even want to do it? Because listen, do you, you know what Don Quixote, he's swinging at windmills. If you don't understand their goals, you're swinging at windmills. You're in a defensive position to say, you don't have time. You could do what I do. You don't even know what they want to do. So the first thing is we've got to spend a lot of time always being curious. Thank you, Lisa, for reminding me ABC. That's it. Just, people are fascinating. Let's get to know them. 
right? And then when you understand about their life, you can figure out how to fit it in. When people tell me they don't have time, I get it. Gosh, I remember when Jenny Elo called me and talked to me about a network marketing business. And I thought, I, woman, I have three kids. I'm chairman's preferred on US Air. I have a job with a company we're about to sell to LinkedIn. Are you kidding me? I don't and, I, and by the way, we have 13 properties at the Jersey Shore that we rent out as investment properties, and I am the property manager. So I am not sure where I'd put the time. But hold on, guys, because guess what? She took the time to get to know me. She started to learn more. She started to ask me questions about, no, seriously, Angela, how, how, this is what she said. How much money would it take to make this worth your time, to learn a skill set and invest in time? Ask someone that question. Do you keep your options open for additional income? Income that is created while you sleep. Are you, do you keep your options open for that? And when you told me that you kept your options open, were you being serious? Because I know you don't feel like you have time. And you may tell them a little bit. I tell them how I did it. Because frankly, it's important for people, busy people, you want people in your business who are busy. Do you guys agree? If you want something done well and right, give it to the busiest person you know. The most, the, because the busiest people tend to be super confident. We want them in this business. And we want to show it's a business, it's a lifestyle business. So here's what I truly did, guys, is that I went to work, crazy jobs, was on planes and trains and cars, and I fit it in wherever I could. And I made a sacrifice because it was worth it. Because I told Janny Elo it would take $600,000 a year to make this worth my time, and she did not blink. She didn't blink. She said, sweet, let's go. And if she's on this call, she didn't even blink. And that's the posture and conviction Lisa was talking about. If you don't make $600,000 a year, let's go. Guess what? People in this company do. If I can teach you a skill set, you could be one of them. So what I did was I sacrificed because I thought, wait, if, I, if she could retire me from a corporate job that's sucking the utter life out of me, that I'm sitting next to my daughter who barely ever saw me, who had a live-in nanny, who literally was taking her to her recital. That's pathetic, right? And I thought, if this woman could set me free, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to see if she's right. What could I do with this if I really made a sacrifice? And I tell people, if you're willing, this is what I did. When everybody went to bed at night, I took about an hour and I shot out text messages that looked like this. I said, Becky, if, if you haven't seen my Facebook post, we need to chat. I know how much emphasis you place on your health. This stuff is amazing. You would love it. Send, send, send. And they wrote back. And honestly, it was so fun that I wasn't getting enough sleep but it was so fun. It was way more fun than my job. Riding up to the elevator, I worked on the 17th floor. I'm on a call, I'm listening to a podcast. My car became a mobile university. I'm listening to podcasts and oop, David Wood, hold on one second, I'm doing a three-way call, one second. I'll be right back. Because that's what you have to do to make it work. You don't have time. But I tell people the exact same thing I just said to you guys. If I want it, that's the reason that you, because you said you don't have time, I know you'd be amazing and I can show you how to do it. I can show you how to do it efficiently so that you have all the time in the world. Absolutely. Do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to go through? Because listen, this girl sitting next to me is 11 years old right now. Okay, I've been doing ice for three and a half years. I missed so much because I didn't have the time. And now I have the time. And I want to give every family back the time because you don't get it back. If you keep saying, I don't have the time, I don't have the time, and you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you've got. And guess what? Someday they go to college, and someday you get to the end of your life and you go, shoot, I wish I would have taken the sacrifice on and seen what could I have done. Could I have been Lisa DeMeo type successful? Could I have been Angela Mresca type successful? Could I have changed a lot of lives instead of getting to the end of your life and going, I never had the time. I never made the time. So that's what I say to people. Yeah. And I love that you just did it in the pockets of your life, Jess. I mean, for, at night when the kids went to sleep during your lunch break, and, you know, Lisa and I talk all the time about this, and it really, when there's a will, there's a way. And not everybody has, you know, eight hours of time to block off, but that's the beauty of isogenics is that you do it where it fits in. When the kids are napping, when you're, when you're in the car, when you're going to a doctor's appointment in the evening, once they're in bed, when you, anywhere you can get it in, get it in. 
you know, in the beginning, we were like all out. But for me, it was always three conversations a day. Who am I going to share my story with every single day? Um, so let's, let's go into action steps because we're kind of crossing into our 45-minute um, line. I know we only had 45 minutes for this call. But if, Jess, can, I know you have to go. Did you leave yet? No, I'm here. Go okay. ahead. Awesome. So if you can give us three action steps, we have so many wonderful people on the call, so many new people, so yeah. many people racing to get to Crystal Executive by July 11th. If you can give us three must, must, must in your daily life, what would they be? So, I mean, listen, I'm all about personal development, but you got to do it when it's not time to act. So that first thing I want you to do is I want you to do personal development, but I don't want you to use it as an excuse like that's your daily method of operation. It's not. The only way people are going to join you is if they know you have a business. So some of us have hung a shingle out once, right? You see a shingle of a business and you go, oh, there's a business that's open. And then the shingle's gone and you don't know if that business is open. They had the best shoes, best handbags, and now the shingle's gone. You're like, I don't know if they're open. So that's how people feel when you don't have consistency of activity. By the way, even if you're not writing to them, they feel your energy. I promise you. When I'm in, act, when I'm in action, guys, I, I think I said this on the last call, and I don't tell you this to boast. I tell you that because three and a half years in, I've qualified for Boom in June in both positions. And people go in both my husband and my position. And P.S., my husband's position rank almost hit six star last night. It was my second position. Guess what? Because I don't stop. I'm not going to stop this. And people say, why? Don't you have enough money? Don't you make enough? Yeah. What we made last week. That was cool. Like, we can do a lot with that money, but guess what? There's a lot of people that don't know what we're doing and need it desperately. So the first thing I want to tell you is get out of your own head, print your Facebook list, and commit that you're going to send out those messages. Don't make it harder than it is. Your message could say as simple as, Lisa, I don't know if I've talked to you about what I'm doing, and maybe I love when Lisa taught me this. I love when she gets vulnerable and she just says, I almost didn't write to you because I've been a little nervous. Guess what? People want to make you feel better. It's such a brilliant way to approach people because they're already feeling like, I want to make you feel better. Why wouldn't you have written to me? Of course. I love you. You're a good person. So that's a, the great thing to say is just be vulnerable. Like I almost didn't write to you, but I'd love to talk to you. I think you'd love what we do. I think you'd love these systems. They're amazing. And I can't not share them with people. Just write to people and see what they say. I think when you voice memo people and say, Things like when you have some talk track that makes sense, like if they read a status and go, I'm so tired, I can't sleep. When you say, send a voice memo through Facebook and go, Angela, I saw your status. Were you being serious or were you just joking around? Because if you were being serious, guys, I use this all the time and I, you'll hear me no matter what it is. If you were being serious, we need to chat, girlfriend, because I've got a hold of something that could change your life. And that's it. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Don't make it seem like a script, but reach out to people. I have a hold of something that might be great for you. That's all you need to say. If they're interested, they're interested. And if not, whatever. Do you know how many people I wrote that have never written me back? Guess what? I keep writing them. I've told you this before. I, I'm sure I've said this. I know, Angela, you and I have talked this. Unless someone uses an expletive in their response to me, I continue to write them. And if there's an expletive, I just put them on a follow-up list for like six months out. <laughs> right? So then I'm like, they're having a bad day. I'm going to get with them later. I'm not taking them off my list. But you want to keep following up. So I love what Susan Sly taught, teaches. The daily method of operation is follow up with three, reach out to three new people a day, follow up with three people, and pour greatness into three people. I also love what you said, Angela. Part of my DMO has become, I meet a lot of new people on Facebook. You can do a search in your friends. It'll show you recently added. And so then I send a message to those and goes, hey, I have no idea how we connected. So glad we did. Loved your post about the rescue dogs. Awesome. We have that in common. I've made some great friends. The people I'm enrolling, I don't know them. I've never met them. People that are building a business that are on this call, some of them I've never met in person. I love it. I love it. I think those are very simple, easy to follow tasks that we can do in the pockets of our life. Uh, I'm going to pass it over to Lisa. Let's, let's get some takeaways, some, some to do's, some method, method of operation. You know, this is what I would do. I'm going to give you a coaching exercise. I want you to take all your current circumstances that you don't like, write them down on a bunch of index cards. So it may be, um, 
can't pay my electric bill. My husband doesn't make enough money. Um, you know, I'm juggling. I'm looking at my little Elizabeth there with two little babies, and she's a corrections officer in a very, very dangerous place and wants to do this very little time i did it with three babies and two in diapers i know how hard it is when you're working a full-time job and trying to figure it in i want you to put all your circumstances so put them all over the place everything um you can't help your mom pay her bills you can't put your child through college you can't can't quit your day job and you're leaving your kids in daycare all your circumstances write them out and then I want you to put on the other side the stuff in isogenics that feels hard. Picking up the phone, sending a text message, calling somebody, and weigh it. Pick up your big fat stack of bills, take a picture of the number on the scale, write it all down, all the stuff that weighs you down, and then put all the stuff in isogenics that you think is hard and decide. And decide and, do, and leave it like that. My dining room table, my kitchen table, I didn't even have a dining room. My kitchen table before network marketing was my office, my changing table, my um, pile of bills. It was, it was one little table in this tiny little house, and we all were in there. And that I wanted an office. I just wanted a place to go sit and shut the door and be quiet. I just wanted an office. And it was, that was my office. That was everything. My circumstance was dire. It was just dire. I could either live the life that I grew up living where we never had money. There was more month at the end of the, at, at the, end of the, the check. I mean, it was just like we could never get ahead. Or I could do stuff that was really uncomfortable and get beaten down and, and, and have people say no and keep trying over and over again. And I had to weigh what was more uncomfortable. And I don't think there's anything hard about this. I think you are magnifying the stuff in isogenics that feels uncomfortable and you're forgetting about all the stuff that you hate so much that you want to eliminate in your life. And we have the power to choose it over and over. You just keep choosing every second of the day. You choose again, just for this moment, I'm going to send out, and, and Jessica said, just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, same message. I just changed the, you know, hi, Elizabeth, hi, Monica, and then I copy paste over and over again. Seasonal, seasonal shake is out. I'm placing an entire order. If there's any miscellaneous stuff that you need, cleanse ionics, whatever, I'm, whatever it is, create a dialogue, and then I copy paste, copy paste in Messenger, and connect with people. Years ago, years ago, one of my brilliant coaches had said to me, never ever tell your kids don't get dirty. Because the problem is when we get older, we never want to get messy and dirty. We want everything nice and neat the way we have it. And we've set ourselves up to think that way. So all of a sudden when stuff gets a little dirty and we're getting out there, we're getting messy and we're doing stuff that's uncomfortable, we immediately retract and we let our own limiting beliefs take control. And those same limiting beliefs are yielding you the results you have. If you don't like your body, if you don't like your bank account, guess what? It's the choices you've made up until this point in time. So if you've had enough of it, you need to check those limiting beliefs, write them on a piece of paper, go burn them over the toilet, flush them and get put them back in the universe. And you need to create a new set of beliefs that will support where you are right now in your life. So a lot of the old stuff doesn't belong here. You've carried a story way too long. You cannot create a monumental vision with a limiting belief system. So put all your little index cards out, see which part is harder, talking to the stranger in the supermarket or figuring out how to pay that bill. But guys, this is it. Like once and for all, you have to decide to change what doesn't work. Or you will, because you could be next to us, but that doesn't mean you're gonna catch on fire. The only way you're gonna ignite your business is by you, you, personally doing what you have not done before. It's only uncomfortable the first time, and then it becomes a new normal. So just get, get messy, get in there, get your fingernails dirty, like really start working it. And you will, I promise you, I promise you, you won't, won't even have time. You'll be too busy to think about your own insecurities, 
because you will start to master what it is to be a servant leader and you will be so focused on other people, your own stuff won't matter anymore. Absolutely. I love it. And you know what? I, I will tell you guys that confidence comes with time, comes with action. I've enrolled over 700 people in four years. To get those enrollments, I probably have had 3,000 conversations. I've messaged everyone on Facebook. But you know what? If I put up a post on Facebook and nobody answered. I went out. I took a Zumba class. I tried a new yoga class. I was putting myself out there every day so I can have three conversations a day. I went to Payless Shoe Store. I told the woman that my, my foot shrunk half a size. I was doing everything I could to have these conversations. And, and what I can tell you is this. I have been made fun of. People have said no. People have blocked and deleted me. And you know what? I, I, I I use it as a scale. Four people laughed at me and blocked me, but guess what? I was able to buy a house for my girls. Uh, two people told me I was crazy, but you know, I was able to retire my husband from working as a truck driver. And you keep tipping the scales. You hit the five cycle bonus, the aunt that told you you were crazy and a part of the pyramid scheme. Don't worry. You just keep tipping the scales. And this is my scale of, of a better life, of a better um you know, for your family, for your kids. That's why that why is so important. You're going to face challenges. If you haven't cried over your business yet, <laughs> you're not at the prime of your business. There's going to be tears. There's going to be a slight loss of, of social esteem. But at the end of the day, I promise you, I promise you, it is worth it. The friends that you meet, the people that you're able to connect with, the lives that you're able to change, it is worth any person saying no. I can't tell you how liberating it was to walk into my children's day camp and pay for two kids to go to camp without needing a payment plan for the first time in my life. And I only pray to give something like this to other moms and to other families. Be proud of what you're doing. Don't be scared. Every time you do it, you get stronger, you get tougher, you get braver. Don't stop. Hearing no, hearing objection, it's, it's okay. It's just the beginning. Lead with your heart. When you lead with honesty, passion, integrity, you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong, right? If it's coming from a place of heart, and service, you can't go wrong. I want to see a show of hands. How many of you guys are running for Crystal Executive? Hands up. Proud, proud. Crystal Executive over and over and over because people are going to fall off. This one, her, her husband left her. She's not doing the business. How one is going to Mexico for you cannot depend on anyone to build your business. You don't want to be have five and five. You want to have 10 and 10. You want to go to Crystal Executive over and over and over. Those are layers, layers of your legacy, layers of contribution, layers of this incredible life that we get to create. So I want to thank everyone so much. Lisa, you're amazing. Jessica, you're incredible. She's literally sitting in Panera with three kids. Lisa just got off a, a UK call. She's flying to the UK to launch her amazing team. These are, women are go-givers. All different stories, all different backgrounds with one thing in common. Better health, wealth, and financial freedom. And you all deserve it. Thank you so much, everyone, for being on, and I hope you found value in this call. And when you message every single friend on Facebook, I want you to inbox me and let me know that you did it. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.